Okay, so uh, number 12, this looks like a repeat of one we've done before. Um, I think the previous problem said let A, uh, the number of elements in A be 5, and uh, A union B is 10. What are the possible values uh, for B? And this is just the reverse. So it's going to be the same thing. Remember we talked about um, there's a couple different scenarios. These two could be completely disjoint sets. Say this one had 5 elements. And in order for them to total 10, this one had to be 5. There was a case to where um, one set could be completely engulfed in the other set. So that 5 elements, meaning um, if this is A this time and this is B, uh, that A has 10 elements in it. And 5 of those elements are coming from B and A has an additional 5. So altogether 10 and then anything in between. So possibilities for A will be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so um, the overlap, so any of the 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10 would be a scenario to where um, something like this takes place. And whatever they have overlap, you will just subtract. So <clears throat> if and we're, we're already stating that uh, B has five elements in it. So uh, if I take away five, that means they would have one in common. That means that this would be four, take away one, that would be five. Um, if I take away five, like this has seven all together. So the six is coming from five and one is six, four, one is five. And I would do that for every one of them. Take away five, that would mean they would have two in the middle. And then I would just do that math. Okay, so <clears throat> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've done it already. Those are the possibilities. And then um, possibilities for A if the intersection is zero so that's this case right here there's only one it has to be five okay so let's go ahead and do 13 here um, set A is closed under addition um, and contains the numbers 4, 6 and 10 list six other elements that must be in A. So if it's closed, that means that everything that we add that's in the set must also be in the set as well. Um, and they have answer choices uh, for us. And it looks like on answer choice A, they took 10 added uh, 4 that's how they get 14 okay we can get 20 by adding 10 and 10 or since 10 plus 4 is 14 that has to be in the set and then they can add 6 to it and that's how they get 20 so 24 um, so just imagine if we kept adding 4 and 6 that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to see if there's a pattern we got 14 uh, and then 20 and then uh, 24 and then 28 and then 32 and then 36 okay so we have established that um, these two can be in there 10 and 4 they're already in the set uh, 10 and 10 is in the set so if we if we know it's closed that means anything we add uh, together has to also be something in the set and then from here um, if we just com continually add it 4 which we can do that over and over again 4 is in the set um, if I keep adding 4 I will get all of these numbers so there's 1 2 3 4 5 6 that works um, C and D have 0 and 1 which we don't know we can't add any of those numbers 4, 6 and 10 and get a 0 or a 1 and the same thing for B it has a 1 
So A would be the only possible answer using addition.